What up, guys? Your boy, Mr. Dale Taram Ray Mel, and you're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Wednesday, February 6, 2019, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O on Twitter at The Enter Report or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Filmmaker Tika Watiti has confirmed that he will not direct Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 following the firing of series helmer James Gunn. Watiti, who directed Marvel's Thor Ragnarok, told reporters on Monday at the Television Critics Association press tour, nope, not doing that movie. He continued, for me, that's James' film going into something like that, which has got his stamp all over it, it would feel like going into someone else's house and saying, hey, I'm I'm your new dad. While TT also said that he has continued to have a relationship with Marvel and wants to make another film for the comic book brand. Gunn was fired by Disney from Guardians of the Galaxy's Volume 3 in July after a number of offensive tweets he posted from 2008 to 2009 resurfaced. The tweet, which featured Gunn joking about pedophilia and sexual assault, made the rounds online after they were highlighted by conservative blogs. Gunn has switched over to Warner Brothers and DC Comics and is set to write and direct a new Suicide Squad film titled The Suicide Squad, which will arrive in theaters on August 6, 2021. Watiti, who was on hand at the Television Critics Association press tour to promote FX's adaptation of his film What We Do in the Shadows, also discussed Marvel's Avengers Endgame. He told USA Today, I haven't seen it, so I don't know. I don't even know what happens. They just uh, keep their cards so close to their chests. He also added, but from what I've heard, it wraps up everything in a really great way. Feels like the fans are getting rewarded for hanging around for 10 years and watching all these films. Because the more you know about the characters and the stories and stuff, the more satisfying this film will be. Avengers Endgame is set to arrive in theaters on April 26th. Ashley Murray will star in the upcoming Riverdale spinoff, Katie Keene. The line confirmed the 31-year-old actress who plays Josie McCoy on Riverdale will portray the character in the new CW pilot. Katie Keene centers on four Archie comic characters, including singer Josie and the title character Katie Keene, a future fashion icon. The show follows the aspiring artists as they pursue their dreams in New York. The Hollywood Reporter says Murray will leave Riverdale if Katie Keene is picked up to series. Katie Keene takes place several years after Riverdale, so no crossover episodes are planned. The CW president, Mark Pitowitz, said at the Television Critics Association went to press tour last month, if anyone from Riverdale were to come to Katie, they would come as their older self. Riverdale executive producer Roberto Aguiar Sacasa will write the pilot script with Michael Grassi and executive producer with uh, Greg Berlanti, Sarah Scheitner, and John Goldwater. Maggie Kelly is slated to direct. Murray has also appeared on the TV series Younger and Alex Inc. She will star in the remake of the 1983 movie Valley Girl, which starred Nicolas Cage and Deborah Foreman. Rosanna Arquette has been cast in Netflix's series Ratchet. Star and producer Sarah Paulson announced on Instagram. Paulson said on Monday, alongside a photo of Arquette, the story of Rosanna Arquette is a triumphant one, but also disturbing. Paulson said she wanted to help her cat after learning she was having trouble landing roles after speaking out against disgraced Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. Paulson said, I'm producing a new Netflix show, Ratchet, with Ryan Murphy, and we decided that this cannot stand. So there will be a multi-episode arc for this extraordinary actress. Ratchet starts shooting Wednesday, and I say with great pride, welcome to our family, Rosanna. Paulson concluded, I'm thrilled to be in a position due to the empowerment of my friend and collaborator, Ryan Murphy, not to just act in a piece, but hire the talent showcase in it as well. Ratchet, which Murphy of American Horror Story fame is executive producing, is a prequel series to the 1975 film One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, which follows the villainous Nurse Ratchet as she becomes a killer. Paulson will be starring as the title character who was first portrayed by Louise Fletcher in the original film. Cynthia Nixon, Sharon Stone, Finn Wittruck, John John Bronies, uh, Charlie Carver, Judy Davis, Harriet Harris, Hunter Parrish, Amanda Plummer, and Corey Stoll are set to star. Ratchet has received a two-season, 18-episode order from Netflix. Bio B. Jordan and his outlier Society Productions banner have inked a first-look television deal with Amazon. 
First Look deal gives Amazon the first opportunity to produce or distribute a series from Jordan and his production company. The deal also includes an inclusion rider where all projects made between Jordan's Outlier Society Productions and Amazon will hire a diverse lineup for cast and crew. Jordan previously signed a First Look film deal with Warner Brothers. Jordan said in a statement, It's an exciting moment for Outlier Society. On behalf of myself and President of Production Alana Mayo, we are thrilled to be entering into this partnership with Amazon Studios. He continued, In just a few short years, they have become home to some of television's most groundbreaking series and an extraordinary place for talent to create, with a cutting-edge business model that speaks to audiences today. Alongside the expert leadership of Amazon Studios, we can't wait to unveil the fruits of this union. Head of Amazon Studio, Jennifer Salk, said in a statement about Jordan, One of the reasons I'm so excited to be in business with him, Alana, and Outlier Society is because they are part of the new wave of creative talent emphasizing diversity both above and below the line and using their success to empower others. We can't wait to bring their vision to a global audience who is hungry for revolutionary, authentic content. Jordan will next be seen in Tom Clancy's Without Remorse, where he will star as John Clark, a character who has appeared in multiple Tom Clancy novels. Paramount recently announced that Without Remorse, from director Stefano Samila, will arrive in theaters on September 18, 2020. The Party of Five reboot is giving fans an official glimpse to its cast. Freeform shared photo Tuesday on the Party of Five official Twitter account featuring Brandon Lecorquente, Emily Tosca, Nicola Guerrero and L. Paris Galapsi. The picture shows the new Party of Five stars assembles the Acosta children for a family portrait. Uh, Lecorquente plays Emilio with Tosca as Lucha, Guerrero as Beto, and Legapsi as Valentina. Uh, the caption reads, the hashtag Party of Five reboot is coming to at Freeform TV. This new drama will follow the five Acosta children as they navigate daily life struggles to survive as a family union after their parents are suddenly deported to Mexico. Hashtag Freeform TCA. Freeform announced Monday it has ordered 10 episodes of a reboot from original Party of Five creators Amy Lipman and Chris Kaiser. Lippmann and Kaiser will write and executive produce the first season. Party of Five originally had a six-season run on Fox from 1994 to 2000. The show starred Scott Wolf, Matthew Fox, Nev Campbell, Lacey Charbet, and Jacob Smith as the Salinger siblings who are orphaned when their parents are killed in a car crash. Jillian Michaels' ex-girlfriend has filed to end her domestic partnership with the celebrity personal trainer. Page Six confirmed Heidi Rhodes is taking legal action following her split from Michaels in 2018. TMZ says Rhodes moved forward with a dissolution with minor children Monday in Los Angeles. She and Michaels are parents to nine-year-old daughter Lucenzia and six-year-old son Phoenix. Rhodes said in court documents she separated from Michaels in May 2017. She is requesting joint legal and physical custody of her children with the former Biggers Loser star in addition to spousal support. Michael had announced her split from Rhodes in an Instagram post in June. The star wrote, Heidi and I have been split for a while now. We found, we found we're better friends and parents living apart than staying together. Life and people change, but our love for, our, for one another and commitment to raising our two kids as an inseparable team remains. She told fans, thanks for always loving and supporting us. The feeling is mutual. Michaels and Rhodes got engaged in March 2016 after seven years of dating. Michaels once described Rose as the perfect person for her during an episode of her E-series, Just Jillian. It's okay to murder a murderer is the first line Sasha Patrice's character Allison asks the audience as a door opens to a basement in the beginning of the trailer for the spinoff series, Perf Pretty Little Liars, The Perfectionist. The show features original series stars Allison De Laurentiis, played by Patrice, and Mona Vanderwall, played by Janelle Parrish, in a new town called Beacon Heights. As the trailer progresses, Allison is seen walking into a crowd near a crime scene, seen perplexed as a police officer covers up a body with tarp. A series of vigilantes follows showing Jeremy Beckett plays Graham Thomas Knight, uh, uh, King, sneaking into a house, young people attending a wake for the victim, with flashes of romantic scenes be between different characters, including a kiss at the bottom of a pool. Sophia Carson, who plays Ava uh, Jalali in the show, tweeted, Be Still My Heart, hashtag PLL The Perfectionist, at PLL TV series premieres March 20th. Pretty Little Liars The Perfectionist is the second spinoff of Pretty Little Liars, 
which ended after a seven-season run in 2017. The first spinoff, Ravenswood, was canceled after one season. K-pop superstars BTS will make an appearance at this year's Grammy Awards for the first time, its agency said Tuesday. According to Big Hit Entertainment, the seven-member band will present an award at the 2019 Grammy Awards slated for Sunday in Los Angeles. It is unknown what award the group will present. It is the first time that a South Korean singer will attend the event. Its latest work, Love Yourself Tear, which topped the Billboard 200 album charts in May last year, is nominated for the Grammys in the Best Recording Package category. It was designed by Husky Fox, a Korean firm. The 61st Grammy Awards, hosted by Alicia Keys, will air on CBS on Sunday. Jason Aldean is giving fans a first glimpse of his newborn daughter. The 41-year-old country music star took to Instagram Monday after welcoming baby girl Navy Rome with his wife, Brittany Aldean. Aldean shared a close-up photo of Navy sleeping. He mentioned Memphis, his 14-month-old son with Brittany, in the caption. The singer wrote, Today our family became complete as we welcomed our daughter Navy Rome to the world. Born on February 4, 2019, weighing 7 pounds, 12 ounces, and looking identical to her older brother. So excited to watch what life has in store for this little princess. Uh, Aldine is also parents to two daughters, 15-year-old Keely and 11-year-old Kendall, with ex-wife Jessica Aldine. He announced Brittany's second pregnancy in July after conceiving via invertile fertilization. The star told people, after having our son, we, we knew we wanted to have two more kids. I have two older daughters already, so after Memphis was born, we knew we wanted to have another one pretty quick. He explained, I would much rather knock it out now while we used to have one in diapers and formula and all of that. I think it's tougher when you get out all of all of that and wait a couple of years and then have to get to redo it again. I think it's known for the singles Big Green Tractor, Dirt Road Anthem, Burning It Down, and You Make It Easy. Last released the album Rareview Town in April. Singer Pink received the 2,656 star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on Tuesday. What about us and Get the Party Started singer? Uh, was joined by her family, husband Carrie Hart, and children Willow and Jameson. Uh, Pink said during the ceremony, my husband, he's so cute, he's my muse, and if he didn't piss me off all the time, I had nothing much to say. I wouldn't be standing up here if it wasn't for you. Never change. My children, you guys are my stars, and I would never shine without you. Also in attendance was comedian and talk show host Ellen DeGeneres, who said she was honored to be Pink's friend. The generous joke, when I was asked to speak about Pink, I was very excited because it's one of my favorite colors. Pink has been nominated for 20 Grammy Awards, winning three Best uh, Pop Collaboration with Vocals for Lady Marmalade in 2002, Best Female Rock Vocal Performance for Trouble in 2004, and Best Pop Collaboration with Vocals for Imagine in 2011. In December, she received a nomination for Best Pop Vocal Album for her latest album, Beautiful Trauma. The ceremony is scheduled to take place Sunday. Pink is currently traveling the globe on our Beautiful Trauma World Tour, which is scheduled to conclude in October. And that is your entertainment report for Wednesday, February 6, 2019. I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O on Twitter at the answer report or on Instagram at the entertainment report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the entertainment report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. This is go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the entertainment report and it'll take you to the page. Good night and God bless you all.